Hello there, dear YouTubers. My name is King1993, and today is another day of me trying to explain another Parsing Grey Raven character. And today's character is called uh, Kamui Tenipion. Okay, now Kamui Tenipion. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about his weapon resonance and memory resonance only. Okay, now the reason why I wanted to talk about that, and the another question means is for which type of audience will this video benefit the most? It will benefit the most the beginners. And the intermediate player who doesn't have any idea which type of weapon resonance or memory resonance to use okay now to understand that the information that are provided in this section here are mostly inaccurate okay and what do i mean by that well most of the time you'll see that this uh five star weapon is gonna be in the second first place and uh, something like that so if that is the case then where can we get the proper information now, in order to get the proper information, there is a certain website which goes by the names grayravens.com. Now, if you come to this website, grayravens.com, which is made by Kurogame Company, you will just have to click on any of the construct which you want to know about. In this case, I'll be talking about Kamui Tenipion. Now, Kamui Tenipion is considered as a 50% physical and 50% dark. Now, it is just written in paper, but in terms of active uh, practical use, Kamui Tenipion actually does a lot more uh dark damage than physical damage so that's why this character is considered as a dark damage dealer as well as a support uh, like a shield breaker now this construct is considered as an s rank construct tank type construct his uh main weapon is great sword his signature weapon is called darkness and his uh favorite gift is portable game console now as you scroll downwards you'll see that there is dps set there is qte set and there is this memory uh, sorry there is this main set okay main build set now main build set will actually be written here ultimate awakening set so what is this ultimate awakening set allow me to explain this ultimate awakening set is an indication of which is gonna be most beneficial in the long run okay now because uh luna lorraine is considered as a dps uh, this character is considered as a sub dps and a shield breaker obviously you'll have to go with that build okay now <coughs> when it comes to the memory okay sets you will have to go with two pieces of einstein on the top it doesn't matter if it is left middle or right it doesn't matter two einstein on the top and one bathlon and three bathlon below okay or bottom now once you have done this sequence correctly remember always do this sequence correctly three bathlon at the bottom and one on the top and two einstein on the top okay now once you have done this properly the next thing you will have to do is do the memory resonance now when it comes to memory resonance elemental character do not crit which is why you will have to give them uh hp plus attack 6x uh, and the it, it is gonna be on the top one the top one is gonna be xp plus attack 6s and the uh, bottom one is gonna be class skill level 6x okay by doing so uh the overall maximized damage will happen okay to the enemies now other than that the question remains is what is the weapon resonance now when it comes to the weapon resonance i do not know why there are one two three four here when you can actually do up to three resonance so from that point of perspective let's talk about that now when it comes to the first one the first one is called tenebrion shock now tenebrion shock is basically a dark wave which will do dark damage and will lower the enemy's resonance sorry enemies resisted dark resistance by eight percent for eight seconds yeah so that's one of the thing this is the gonna be the first one you should be going with now the question remains is okay who are the people that are providing this information the people who are providing this information are meta players so the information are coming from them okay now deadline timing then after after the temporary period shock go for the deadline timing which will give you more orbs both uh, on field and off field okay and resonant echo resonant echo will basically cause the tenebrion sorry will cause the tank type class construct to have their effectiveness active for eight seconds more okay so that's basically how this works okay now other than that as you scroll downwards you will see the hidden skill now when it comes to the hidden skill it is written here any three ping will basically cause this character to go in rage mode in rage mode the character will be doing a lot more dark damage okay so that's basically how it goes now the question remains is what is his role now if you do not have tenebrion then 
the new character which has been added to the game is called uh, number 21 so number 21 is going to be a lot more easier to get because this character you will be able to get it within 10 pulls whereas for this character you might need to get this character within 60 pulls so yeah that is a main thing uh why this one is considered as an s rank and for this one this one you can basically get it within 10 pulls so that much difference it is now if you do not uh, have tenebrion then you will have to go for 21 but if you already have tenebrion then even if you were to get uh number 21 you, you will most likely not going to be using her so there's the whole issue here now even though you might see that uh difficulty wise tenebrion seems to be a little bit difficult to use actually it is not true this chart don't uh, pay too much attention to this area just pay your full attention to this area sorry not this area the overall whole uh, concept that tenebrion is considered as an srm construct and a very good one okay so that's basically how this video goes now if you think that the information here is actually good and if you were to compare this information with other people as well you will see that the meta players are using the same format okay now why is tenebrion not given any qte skill because luna laurel already have the ability to activate qte just by uh using charge attack and that's basically how tenebrion will be able to use the charge attack even without using any type of qte okay now if you find this video interesting and useful regarding Kamui Tenebrion, then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis. Thank you and see you again next time.